Welcome to Whangarei and Haere Mai, welcome to the field trip. We're on our way to the Bremhead to Whara part of Te Araroa. And just before we head off there, I thought I'd go over some of the gear I've got for our day out on the trail today. Because planning and preparation is a really important part of any hikoi that you do, whether it's for a day, overnight, or several days. We're just going for the day, so I've got my small backpack and actually the first thing I've got to show you is my telephone because I've told somebody where I'm going for the day but just in case this is a good device when you're in coverage area to communicate if you need to get hold of somebody if something goes wrong or you're running late whatever let people know where you are and what you're doing now it's raining at the moment but I know it's going to be sunny but in case we do get showers I bought my raincoat and it is going to get hot but just in case it also gets a bit colder I've got my jacket as well so always make sure you cover bases for different temperatures that you might experience throughout the day food kai I've got my lunch box because you're going to be using a lot of energy it's important to make sure you've got enough and with that food of course you've got to hydrate so I've got plenty of water with me. It's gonna be hot, we're gonna be sweating, so make sure you hydrate, really important. A hat, because like I said, the sun's coming out. And when it does, make sure you've got plenty of sunscreen as well. Heat stroke, sunburn, not a nice thing to have to go through. I take a plastic bag with me to put my rubbish in. I've already had something on the way this morning, so don't leave your rubbish behind. Respect the environment. What you take in, you take out with you. Speaking of respecting the environment, I take this dry bag with me, and in my dry bag, I've got a head torch, just in case I end up being out a bit later than what I thought I was going to be, and some dry toilet paper because sometimes when you're out in the wop wops and there's no funny pucker around and nature calls you might have to dive off and do your business and if you do make sure you take a trowel with you so you can bury your waste oh and I almost forgot in my dry bag I bring medication sometimes I need my asthma inhaler so make sure you've got any medication that you might need throughout the day. And if in case something does go wrong and somebody hurts themselves, you take a first aid kit to make sure that you can fix the people up and get them out of there safe and sound. And one thing I like to take with me as well is a pair of binoculars. Because I don't like to get up too close to disturb nature. I like to keep my distance and respect, like I say, the environment around me by making sure that I keep my distance. And that goes with if you're going through farmland as well. Just respect the farm animals. So that's about all I've got for today. You might like to think about the stuff you've got at home or things you might need to get when you think about going on your hikoi. 